Hey guys, today we got a 2009 F-150. Wheelbase should be, I believe, 157 inches. And the problem I ran into was finding this yoke. You can see it's brand new. I got a new one on there. Pressing the U-joint out, it cracked. They're prone to failure. And Ford only put these on not very many drive shafts because they're so defective. You're actually supposed to press that U-joint out while you have that flange yoke attached so that it gives a little support to those ears so they don't crack. So you want to take your U-joints out and put that the half of that shaft on. So this one is a three U-joints. The mid shaft bearing there, center support bearing. So you want to put half your shaft back on there and bolt that back on when you're pressing the U-joints out. But if you've already cracked yours, it's hard to locate these yokes. The parts stores don't sell them. No aftermarket company has made them. You got to get them, get a genuine Ford part. And the dealerships are running out of them. I found a couple on eBay that were new old stock for 48 bucks. I got this one from the dealer. It was the last one available to them, they said. Here's your part number. DL3Z4782A is the part number. And you can put that into an online search. eBay, you'll come up with a few. A lot of the new ones I saw were going for about a hundred bucks or so. But the hard part is finding that part number. No part store is gonna help you with this. And a lot of Ford dealer parts guys don't even know about this. But if you're looking for it, that's the part number you need. And you can get one shipped from eBay. Or maybe you're lucky, the part of the country you're in, the dealership will have one laying around. Or a partner dealership will. So, that's the problem I ran into. It took me about three days to figure out, with help from a parts guy at Ford, what the correct part number was for this sucker. And they use those yokes on some Mustangs, too. So, tricky to find. 